Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, A Little Patience. My name is Ashley and this is my Christmas finishes special. So I just am going to share my Christmas finishes with you today. Um, <laughs> it is Friday, December 15th. It is not Thursday. I can't make this stuff up. My <laughs> son, my little one, not even two years old, broke um, our Christmas tree last night. As I was trying to set up for this video in front of our Christmas tree, he fell off my chair, this chair, and I caught him. He's okay. I should have said that first. Nobody got hurt. Everybody's okay. Some tears were shed. Um, but I, I wasn't in the mood for filming after that happened. And I don't feel like it's not like, it's not that bad, but we will need a new tree for next year. Um, like you wouldn't be able to tell in the video that it was broken. It's just the bottom layer. Um, so I was gonna make this a short story, but apparently I can't do that. Um, my tree is not in three sections. It's layer by layer. I guess you would, I would call that old school. That's how I grew up with putting each branch in um, so it's it's each layer so he like as he was he somehow broke the bottom you know where you put them in the metal part um, which is attached to like the trunk um, it's like snapped in half so the whole lower <laughs> layer um, is totally broken. Um, miraculously, all the lights still work, but, and then one of the, like the next layer up, one of the branches is also broken, but not the whole thing. Anyway, so that's what happened. Um, thank goodness everybody's okay. Um, so I was hoping this tree would last me for a very, very long time, and now I have to go get a new one. So I will have to try to get one like on sale or something. So, um, what can you do? So anyway, let's get right into, right into after my two minute story, my finishes. So this one is by Country Cottage Needleworks. I do not know the name of the chart. And this one I actually keep up all winter just because of the colors it doesn't like scream Christmas to me even though they are Christmas songs um, I leave it up all winter because of the colors so I have this finished in a little um, frame from Hobby Lobby and then I put some fabric on the backer and then it's mounted on sticky board and then this beautiful glittery greenery, three glittery white bells, and I just have it hanging on my wall. So let me kind of just go slowly up. So I, I love this one a lot. I don't remember what I stitched this on. It was probably a mystery fabric. So there's my first Christmas finish. Um, I also have the giveaway winner, which I will do at the end. And also, I cannot make this up. The winner, you'll just have to wait and see. Or here. Okay, the next one is... Um, this one's my design. It's called Ginger Love. And I designed this for my eldest son. He's a redhead. So this one is called... Well, it's called Ginger Love. And it says, everyone loves a ginger. Like a gingerbread cookie. It is finished on... A, um, one of those green like a hard styrofoam wreath and then I finger knitted some white yarn and just wrapped it around and then I made a buffalo plaid bow and then I used two gingerbread fabric yo-yos in the middle and a red button and it's backed on some red checkered fabric and I just um, where do I have this one I just have this one hanging by my front door. So it's a little um, off-centered right now. So 
so there is that one this one is in my Etsy shop and I did stitch this one on black Ada because it's just what I had in my stash at the time and I, I don't have anything against Ada I just don't like the way the thread sounds as it's being pulled through the fabric it just sounds um harsh I guess to my ears I don't know that's weird but I don't know <laughs> Okay, another one I have. This was by the Pine Needles. Um, I know there's a shop out, I think in Utah. This was a stitch along and all these little sections were free a couple years ago. Um, if you go to their website, you might be able to purchase it still. I know after they release them for free, they're only available for a couple like a couple days and, and then you have to pay for the whole chart. So um, I did not change anything about this. A lot of people were changing the location or the little motifs, but I kept this one as it, as they were charted. And it's just finished in a another frame from Hobby Lobby with a glittery wood snowflake that I just have tied on there in case I wanna change this out. So this is on um, mounted with magnets. So here's a close-up. I love this snowflake. And then there's, I think that's navy blue ticking fabric. Um, my guess is these are all DMCs and I'm not sure what, what fabric that is, but it looks like it's probably um, maybe a 32 count, maybe 28. And it has this um, stand to prop it up on, which is what you keep hearing. So there's, um, I love that one, it's so cute. And there are like 25, so it's almost kind of like an advent calendar, but not, not really. Okay, um, let's see. I have stuff everywhere on my table, so I I'm gonna have to reach a little bit. This is my Country Cottage Needleworks December uh, Cottage. I have this on a board. I didn't feel like bringing the whole board off my wall, so I just brought the little finished piece. It has white pom-pom trim that, um, and then a buffalo check torn fabric ruffled edging. And this is on 28 count coffee tea dye fabric with all the called for colors. Um, the next one is, um, I'll just do that. One of mine, and it is a free ornament on my blog, and I will link it below. It is Winter Wonderland. I stitched this on 40 count lichen by Tabby Cat Linen with all DMC. And then it's mounted on sticky board, wrapped in fabric, and just some snowflake ribbon I had in my stash. So if you're still looking for a quick ornament, go ahead and check that out. It's a free chart on my blog. Okay, next up is a pillow. This is also a freebie from Croquette A Go Go. I think it's called Noel Free. I think it's um, 2019. So this is stitched on some sort of mystery. 28 or 32 counts. Sometimes I just can't tell the difference by just by looking at it. I'm pretty sure I changed some colors. Maybe. I don't know. I'd have to go look. But I've just had this pillow on my um, dresser behind me, which is still a mess. Um, but this one's so cute. And then this is finished with some plaid fabric at the bottom, jumbo white rickrack, and then some chenille from Lady Dots Creates. It's probably snow. I don't know her colors. If I had to guess, I mean, I would call that snow. And then just some plain red cotton on the back. Ah, so there's my Noel pillow. Very cute. I feel like maybe I should have stuffed it a little bit more. All right, um, I'm saving the best for last in my lap, by the way. I've got, um, here, let's do this one. 
This is by Stitching with the Housewives. I don't know what it's called. Um, I did finish it on the same board that Priscilla and Chelsea used for their finish, but I did not stitch it on black. I stitched it on 28 count vintage country mocha, and I did switch some colors and parts of the design. Like I gave Mrs. Claus some high heels and some gold accents. I added some um, decorations to her apron. I changed Santa around a little bit as well. And the Christmas trees, I think. And the letters are stitched, I believe, in red and I chose the Tennessee red clay. So. I haven't hung this one up yet. I have to find a good spot for it. And then I finished it with, um, so that the Mary is on the board. Mine broke and I fixed it. Um, and then I have some Merry Christmas ribbon in each corner, kind of so I can cover up where I had to fix it. Oh, oh no. Oh, one of my treats just fell off. Oh, and then two, one <laughs> little bottle brush trees. I'll have to glue that back on in the corner. So really easy finish. Oh, and then it's specked with some of that. Um, well, it's not the same as the other uh, black, but it has a different kind. So very cute. I'll have to fix this little guy later. Oh no. I'll set him down here. Okay, I don't wanna lose that. Um, Next up. I showed this one um, a little kind of recently. This is by With Thy Needle and Thread, Brenda Jervé. I got this sleigh frame from Goodwill. And um, this Santa is stitched on, is it 36 count? I think it's 36 count fox and rabbit. Uh, this might be prehistoric. It looks like I actually used two threads over two, which I never do on 36 count. It looks really nice. I used all the called for colors. He is a little bit um, wonky here, but that's okay. It's just the fabric got a little distorted. I don't know. It might have happened when I was stitching all this and it just warped the, um, the fabric. I hear that you can block your stitching pieces. I've seen people do that on Instagram, like you would block, block your um, crochet or knitting. So I topped it with a white and silver bow with a candy cane and some greenery, some berries, and then I just have this loop for hanging if I want to. So there is my Santa. I don't know what this one's called, but he's cute. I like his cheeks rosy cheeks okay next is another one of my designs that is available in my etsy shop this is holly jolly i think that's what it's called i know i should know i'm guessing it is so this is the same uh type of wreath it is the same size as ginger love and i hot glued fabric yo-yos around the entire wreath and then the stitched piece is mounted on um, tiny red checkered fabric with white pom-pom trim. And then it is stitched on some 28 count even weave I dyed when I was a teenager. So I think it's writ to dye, but I couldn't tell you what I used, so. And then I have a little red bow and then I hang this on my mirror in my living room. So it sits right in the center of my, my mirror. And I just love how Santa and Mrs. Claus are right in there, kissing underneath the holly. I know it's not mistletoe, but it's still really cute. Okay, I'm gonna do, um, it's not an ornament, but it, I mean, it could be an ornament. An ornament next. Although I have this hanging on my antique cabinet. This is, I think this is by Lizzie Kate. And I'm 
pretty sure I changed all the colors. And it's just mounted on this metal thing. <laughs> this plaid was actually on here already and there's something on the on it. I don't remember what it said. But I thought it looked really nice with um, with it showing, so I left it. And then it has a bow, just like the bow on my, my free ornament, with a pink button that kind of matches the pink floss that I used. And gosh, I feel bad if this is not Lizzie Kate and I'm giving you misinformation. So um, either way, it's cute. I changed colors. I don't know what they are. So there's another Christmas finish. Nice and simple. Okay, let's see. Uh, I have to reach a little bit. All right, this is one of my favorites. This was in, I think last year's uh, Just Cross Stitch Christmas magazine. I don't even know where that came from. Okay. <laughs> and I think I used a Bing Cherry for this. I don't know what the fabric is. And I have it mounted on some plaid. And it is on a magnet in case I want to take it off. This was probably, um, I think it was either last year or two years ago in the Target dollar spot. Um, and I think they're reindeers from Hobby Lobby and then I did glue some picks to the back with my magnet on there. I don't know why it has all these strings. I needed two magnets because it kept falling last year. I love this one. It's so cute. And I just have this on my mantle next to my TV above my fireplace. Okay, the next one I, I received from my Buy Nothing group on Facebook, my local, oh no, one of them fell, I'll have to go pick it up. Um, this is from my Buy Nothing group, the person who had it didn't want it, and I almost bought one of these from Target, but I didn't, um, and now I have one anyway. So this was from the Target dollar spot. And I think it's from last year. So I just had this hanging on my craft room door. To the left of me, into the living room, there's French doors. So I just, um, one of them is almost always open. And I have it hanging on the other one that's closed. So you can see this from the living room. So it just says, ho, ho, ho. Okay. Um, let me go get that one that fell. Sorry. Oh, two of them fell. I don't know. You guys can probably still see I have my sweatpants. <laughs> but I did put on my Grinch shirt. Like I said, I didn't really want to film yesterday after that happened, and I'm not having a good day about it today either. But I am glad that everybody's okay. Okay, so these are the two that fell. This is also from last year's Christmas ornament magazine, maybe. Um, looks like I used some of that same snowflake ribbon and a pretty green button. And then I just have it mounted on some red ticking stripe fabric on sticky board. And this is an ornament that hangs on my tree. And I made this one pretty on the back. I backed it with some sparkly green felt. don't know if I use the call for colors with this one either but it's really cute and I love this little it's like a moon but it's Santa's hat and I can't figure out if it's supposed to be a moon or not but I love it so there's that one and the next one is my finish from Teresa Kogut's class for um, the Jingle Ball this year I still need to finish my Biscornu. I kind of don't want to do any more Christmas stitching though. Um, 
but I really need to do it because um, those videos are about to be um, not unavailable. So this is the Joy Christmas ornament. And I finished mine differently than what she shows in her chart and in on the class. Um, she did make them into little pillows though. And then she also showed other ways of finishing these. But I just used some beads and um, strung them together vertically. I think it's so cute. My little Santa in the middle. And this one is hanging on my tree now as well. Okay. Let's see. I have two more ornaments, a wreath, and then um, three things, and then the giveaway winner. So I really don't have a lot of Christmas finishes. I have a lot of stitching that's not done, fully finished. Um, and I think I'm pretty much done for this year. I think I'm gonna move on to um, winter and spring. So let me reach over for some ornaments. Oh, um, I forgot. Uh, one of mine as well so well this one is also one of mine <laughs> this is called snow cold and it is available in my Etsy shop this one is stitched on 28 count dwarf linen by Pitch picture this plus it's finished on sticky board and then on the back is another sticky board and in between I sandwiched the same fabric as a torn ruffled ribbon and then I had some more torn fabric and I made a bow a hanger and a covered button and this one hangs on my tree as well it's kind of a bigger ornament in my opinion I mean it's about the size of my hand um, but I still have them hanging on my tree for now I can always move them if I need to and this one it works up real quickly this one is not mine. This is my um, ornament exchange from the Land of Lincoln Stitchers group. This is what I received from Jen. Um, I wanted to post her last name, but I had already um, recycled the box, so I didn't want to give credit to the wrong person. But this is from Jen. Thank you, Jen. And it's beautiful, and it's ironic because it is... Um, from the same magazine I stitched mine in that I gave away and in the photograph in the magazine they're like right next to each other so I found I guess it's not ironic more of a coincidence I suppose but it's finished beautifully into a pillow she did a beautiful job and it's hanging on my tree okay this one is I gotta reach for this one Okay, so this one I hope doesn't fall because when I store it, I have it, um, I have it made so I can kind of take it apart for storage. So nothing is really attached and it kind of all gets tied together on my um, wreath hook. And this is on my basement door. Uh, so let me try to grab it and hold it so it doesn't fall. All right, this is by Country Cottage Needleworks. Merry Christmas, my dear. It is stitched on the called forth fabric with most likely all the called forth floss. And I finished it on this wreath that I probably got from Hobby Lobby. And um, it's torn black check plaid. I don't know. What's the difference, guys? Um, around the outside and then it took me a, like a while to fully finish this because I was just on the lookout for an old reindeer cookie cutter. And then I finally found one uh, last year, I think. So I have it tied on there with some baker's twine and there's a bow on there. And I promise you it looks way better when it's hanging up. <laughs> but it's so cute. It looks really nice on my door. Because my doors are not painted white. They're still, um, they're wood. And, um, all that brown behind it looks really nice. Makes it pop. Okay, I have one more for my design. And then um, 
my other finishes, my three finishes, and then um, giveaway winner. Okay, so this one I designed for my daughter. This was uh, for her first dance recital. And um, they danced to a song. They had these lyrics, we are little snowmen, short and round. So I made a design for her and she, there was actually five girls in her dance and they had tutus very similar to this with little bows in their hair. And I love this one. I have it finished on one of those metal oval platters from Goodwill. And then I put some lace from my stash around um, the edge. And I have this little embellishment on a magnet. And it does cover up um, that bow and some of the um, pretty branches at the top. So I just wanted to take it off to show you. But I have this one on the table by my front door and I love it. It's so pretty. It's, it's one of my favorites I've made. So, very cute. And this is available in my Etsy shop as well. So, okay, let me just set that down. Okay, I'm gonna take a sip of tea. I didn't get to finish at lunchtime. Okay, so I'm gonna share my stockings. Here is Theo's. Um, and this is a pattern by Joan Elliott. This one is in that book I showed you for Willie's. Uh, it's so pretty, but the back has so much dog hair. <laughs> and the front does too, it's just harder to see. But I'll go up slow. There's some beading and um, that gold thread. So I'll try to go slow so you guys can see it. I mean, his turned out just so beautiful. There's some gold backstitch there. There's just beads. I feel like Theo's is the most um, embellished. It's so pretty. So I'll do the whole thing there. So there's Theo's. And if you are not familiar with like the name meanings behind names and what they mean. Um, all of my children have really, really awesome meanings. All their names have a really awesome meaning. And um, they're all three syllables. And their middle name is one syllable. Their last name is two syllables. So there was some science behind our names. Okay, so there's Theo's. His name means gift from God, and he is just, he's the sweetest little guy in the whole wide world. So everybody who meets him is just like instantly smitten. So um, here's Vivi's, and this is not in the book. This was actually a kit I purchased on eBay, and in hindsight, I feel like I would have changed some of the threads that came with it. So that like her hair blended better maybe i would have changed it to a lighter brown to match like the highlights of my daughter's hair she's more of a blonde like a dirty blonde she turns more light in the summertime but um uh, vivian's doesn't have as many embellishments as theo's so i'll do a little so vivi was named after her great grandmother and vivian actually means full of life and she is also my rainbow baby. And she is most certainly, <laughs> she is just exuberant. She's, um, I don't know if you've ever seen the video that was going around a while ago. It was, um, oh, what's it called? Savage Daughter. I think it's, um, I don't want to say it wrong. I don't want to do it wrong. I think it's, um, I don't know if it's from Norway or Sweden, somewhere, I think. I think from there is where it originates. And um, she's definitely my savage daughter. I finished it. It doesn't have quite the good um, arch that the other ones have, but... 
And this uh, William means resolute protector. These are supposed to be backstitched, but I left that out. And then instead of putting French knots for the like the ruffle or not the the fur, I just used some beads. And then I changed um, the sack and I added some larger beads here and then beads on the Christmas tree. And no one's noticed. I've had this hanging up since Wednesday and nobody has said a word. But it's beautiful and I'm so excited it's done. Um, I was gonna have it done Tuesday, but I didn't have felt big enough to finish it. So I had to go to the store and get some, so. All right, those are all my finishes. They look so nice next to each other. They're beautiful. So next I have my giveaway winner and you guys, I cannot make this up. I cannot make this up just like the tree story. Okay. The winner, um, and I did fix my, I fixed my chart. I fixed the mistake, um, in the chart. And then I fixed where I got the supplies. They are not from Michael's. I made a mistake. Everything is from Joanne Fabrics. I'm really sorry. So I fixed it and then I activated the listing again. So it is available in my Etsy shop and it's Quilty Blocks Christmas Garland. So I'll show it before I share the winner. Um... So I guess this is my last Christmas finish. Here, I think I have to show it this way. Uh, you can kind of see them. That one right there is kind of tw twisting. Oh no, that looks twisting too. Okay, this time I painted the back. <laughs> so there's one quilt block. Here is another. That one's on candy canes. This one is on a snowflake. And then this last one is on... <laughs> Let me just move that. A Santa. And these reindeer light up and they're so pretty. So. Um, so it's available in my Etsy shop. Everything's been fixed. And the winner gets the reindeer lights. The chart, the fabric for the garland, and four tags. And the winner is, and I, can, I cannot make this up, Denise Swallow, 1668. And she's actually also the winner of the other garland. And I, I kid you not, I'm being 100% honest. I did it last night and I cannot make this stuff up. So um, I do have your email or your address from before and I will just get it out to you. Okay, Denise? So congratulations. Okay, so my next floss tube may or may not be on next Thursday. Uh, the kids will be on winter break. By then so I don't know what my free time will look like so I will I will make a floss tube when I can I'm gonna try to go back to Thursday hopefully I have no major incidents that happen um, I'm hoping pretty soon to have my winter warmth chart available I'm stitching on it now but I think I'm gonna change some colors so I've actually been working on my needle point because I've been needing some comfort stitching and something that's easy on my eyes. So, um, I don't know when I'll be back, but I hope, uh, I hope it's next week and I hope you find some awesome things to work on. I hope you get some time with your family, some time to yourself. And, um, and if I'm not back and you celebrate Christmas, I hope you have a Merry Christmas. 
Um, I know Hanukkah has already started. Um, let's see. I don't know much about Kwanzaa, so I really can't. Happy Kwanzaa. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll be back when I can, and I'll see you guys later. I hope you enjoyed this um, episode. So, bye. Happy stitching.